is Batu Caves. One can see the Murugan from even from the traffic. This is the entrance to the Batu Caves. One can see the huge statue and the traffic island in front is decorated nicely. There are three main caves with the several smaller ones. All these are a limestone. The main one was uh, temple was built in 1890 or so, and during the Saipu, some over a million people visit during the three-day festival. And in the main cave, whose roof is over 100 meters, is the main area of the worship and uh, accumulation of the bhaktas during Thai Pusam. There's a long procession that goes of people carrying Kavadi as these are mostly Tamilians. The main deity for them is uh, Murugan or Subramanya or Shanmuga who is the oldest son of uh, Shiva and Parvati. This whole complex has several uh, acres of occupancy with multiple temples. It is an ongoing process since 1890s. Never stopping it appears as things are on a continuous construction. One can see the skill of this artisan. This is uh, another temple under construction, as you can see the incomplete painting. Behind this is a huge statue of Anjaneya. How Anjaneya got involved with a Shiva Sun temple is a mystery, as Rama is the avatar of Vishnu. This is another wall in the campus. As the work is going on, Shanmuga had two wives. One of them is Valli, while his younger brother Ganesh had none. It's hard to find a bride for him with his big tummy, starch stature. Shiva and Parthi must have given up even trying to find a bride for Ganesh. This case are one of the most visited. You can see the number of tourist buses. In fact, in the temple I've seen many Muslims. As I get closer to the entrance to the caves and the huge statue, one can see the 200 82 steps to the main cave. There are monkeys on the way. The jasmines are smelling. The jasmines are smelling so nicely with a milk for Abhishekam and coconut. The amazing garland, nicely made. It's like they are building a pond here as this is the essential part of any major Hindu temple. There are many other deities here. I hope the Bhaktas who do not speak English, um, rather Tamil, can also know what deity it is as all the signs are in Tamil only. The puja is in progress. You can see even this uh, partially burqa covered woman doing it. Whereas the chameleons would uh, light up camphor or karpuram.
smells good. This is at the bottom of the stairs of a major temple. I don't think that he is waiting for the Aarti, maybe for Prasad. He did get his share of coconut and he likes it. This magnanimous statue is so huge, one can see the close-up of it. Standing just next to the stage. And that is the cave. Ganesh is the most decorated and the most popular of all Hindu gods. One can see just uh, lines of uh, different Ganesh here. Next is his brother. Here one can see Shadmuga with his uh, two wives, Valli and Daivani. These steps are okay. I'm sure the very special person can climb 282 steps. He's carrying all those coconuts for a game. Must be after being blessed. After meeting the family from Ballari who took my video, he's a neurosurgeon. And here is the cave. And this is one of the most beautiful statues. One can see the, the entrance and the limestone cave. Some are freely hanging, they never fall on anybody's head. If it does, it's a neurosurgical trauma emergency. One of the caves on the way to the main cave. The three caves are lined up. I first entered through the entrance cave. I am now I am in the middle cave. This is again huge. Highlight is from the third or the inner uh, cave. And there is a smaller temple here and some nice statues. This is a bhakta who has shaved her head and put a chandan or a sandal put paste as a sign of uh, devotion, sacrificing, including the beauty to God. Self-service, clean, prasadam. This is the stairs to the inner cave with a huge skylight. This is where it's over uh, 1,000 meters high. Keeping with the Hindu temple architecture of the outer court, middle court and inner court. Here is the mother nature's three levels of caves made billions of years back. Man just occupied and made it into a temple. This is the temple in the inner court with its own gopuram with the puja being performed. more lighted area, one can see this limestone pillar on the skylight above. It's pointed in the lower level, higher level is the natural color from algae. A nice area for the plants to grow. Amazingly beautiful caves. I did not see any bats at the roof. As I walk down, this is the view of the middle cave from the top. View from the top of both the stairs as well as of the city. Picture taken with the monkey for free. 
is practicing hill climbing. Must be want to be an electrician. But around one can monkey with their camera too. The art of parota making. See, it becomes very thin and huge and you can do like the pizza guy. Probably is much thinner than a pizza, folded and ready to go on this stove. Dose. 